Hey guys, welcome back to the Roseberry Adventures. On this episode, we are talking about our review on the Disney Dream. And kind of comparison to the other Disney cruises that we have been on, because I have been on all of them. I've got my Grand Slam, so. And I've only been on four. That's okay. I'm only missing the wish. <laughs> but also during this video, we reach 500 subscribers, so we're gonna yes. do a giveaway. So you guys gotta make sure you watch through to see what you have to do to enter into our giveaway. We are giving away a $100 Amazon e-gift card. Yep, so stay tuned. We will give you all the details just later in the video. So keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. If you love our videos, please subscribe because that helps us out even more and it gets us more excited to do more content for you guys. Um, so Disney Dream, we had a wonderful time. We really, really did. Um, there were just some issues that we had. Uh, we kind of felt like uh, the Disney Dream overall is uh, just like the smaller ships, same um, like activities and all of that, but what they did was just put it on a bigger ship and didn't add more things to it. Um, so it was just, it, yeah. Well, I'm more of an or, or OG Disney cruise ship. The yes. Magic and Wonder are hands down my favorite. Um, I've never felt crowded on those. I've been on them during the Halloween on high seas. I've been on them during the winter season, the summer. I've loved, always loved the OG Disney cruise ships. Yeah. We went on the Fantasy, which is the Dream Sister ship, yes. uh, back in 2019 during the Halloween time. And it wasn't that good of a experience. We took a whole bunch of friends on there, really talked up Disney. It's worth the premium price. Um, you're not going to regret it. And when we went, did like the Halloween time, when they did the trick-or-treating and had the whole ship in the atrium, I was like, hey, peace. We we're we're out of here. Yeah, I think we lasted, what, five minutes? And our friends had not even lasted that long because um, it was super overwhelming to them, which is really sad, especially for kids that um, it, it just would be so overwhelming for them that they would just kind of just lose it. So we actually left and went to the uh, aqueduct and there was no lines. We there was no were able lines. to walk on. Yeah. So I, but I went in, we went, both went into the Disney dream. Okay. That was this Halloween time. Yep. This was the Disney plus deal. Um, and I think it was like the first official week long cruise on the dream. Yes. Um, our cruise was pretty much almost at capacity. I think we were pretty short. Um, just a, like maybe a hundred person. Uh, short of reaching capacity. capacity. Um, but I do not, I'm going to go up there with an open mind. I did went in there open mind. We had a balcony. First time having a balcony. Oh. We loved it. Can never go back. Yes. Veranda. <laughs> if you can splurge for a veranda, go for it. Other than that, we've always had a big porthole and we, I've always loved the big portholes. Yeah. They've never had any issues. Yeah. We've never had any issues on there. We love having the two different bathrooms, one with the shower, one with the toilet. They both have sinks. We love that. Yeah. Um, especially with our family of five. We, it just fits our family perfect. Um, so the room was great. Our room host was great. Um, our servers were wonderful. We had um, time. had a great time. Our head server actually went above and beyond and got us the churro Mickey waffles, which were delicious. Bomb.com. Um, <laughs> but Disney, what are you doing? You've had the same food menu for who knows how long ever since I've been cruising with you. Yes. Like it's time to change it up. Like. You only could have black truffle pasta so many times. Um, so I, I think it's time for them to like change it up or even... In cabanas. Yeah, even in cabanas, like lunchtime. Like I'm like, okay, we're in Mexico. We're going to have like some chips and salsa or some like street tacos or something like that for lunch or for dinner. Um, like themed for the country that we're in. Yep. But nope. they don't. It's the exact it's same. Yeah. 
Um, so that was a big bummer to it. Um, like the hot dogs and the hamburgers, the hamburgers and, and chicken fingers salad. and fries and fruit and all that. I understand that at all. That's like perfect poolside food. Have that out there. You don't need to change that. Keep doing your thing with that. But like in cabanas or in the main dining, I would recommend changing that up. Um, if you've cruised on them as much as we have, it's just like you're going back to the same restaurant constantly, even though the restaurants are a little bit different themed, yeah, the food's still the same. And they need to keep cabanas open longer because in situations where people uh, don't want to go to the dinners, they have that option to go to cabanas um, to have that freedom. So I do recommend that as in that they should do that. Um, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law, they had a situation where they had a horrible experience at the dining room um, and they were going to go to Cabana's and they're like, it's closed. It usually is open. Come on. COVID so, is over. Let's, let's get back to reality. And especially with you having a ship at basically full capacity. Um, yeah. So, the ice yeah. cream. Yeah. <laughs> I I love ice cream. And, I, I mean, I've been going on Disney since they've had cookie dough ice cream at Castaway Key. And that's gone. Okay, that's fine. I'll deal with it. But, when you only have chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, banana for the whole week, that's not Disney. No. You pay your premium price to have chocolate and vanilla every day. Okay, we got, that's the expectations, yeah. but you have different flavors all the other time when you're on the ship. <laughs> well, we just had strawberry, banana, and chocolate and vanilla all the week long. Week. And my sister and brother-in-law, they went on the dream the week after us, the exact same. My brother and sister-in-law went on the magic like a week after that. And they had flavors changed every yeah. single day. day. So I don't know if it's just the staffing on the dream that's like, nope, this is the flavors and this is what you're going to get. But when you're paying a premium price to go with Disney, we expect the, that little bit of extra detail to cover that, that, um, uh, like that, with the changing out the flavors. We huge ice cream people. Um, but that's again, just going with the food. You, you got to change it up, keep it more interesting, especially if us that, are repeat cruisers that keep coming on there. Yeah. Um, Paulo's. Uh, it was a little bit of a disaster for you guys. Yeah, it took like three hours. Yeah. It, it was a long time, but usually like hour and a half, two hours is good. Um, they didn't have the buffet. Yeah, I missed the buffet. It's like, I enjoy the buffet going up there and like getting the sticky buns and kind of seeing the food to choose from. Um. But yeah, it's all order and then they make it fresh and bring it out to you. Um, I just was a little bit, I don't know, it just was, maybe I'm just like the OG and stuff that evolved and changed, but I, I'm more like the traditional guy. I like having that buffet there, um, but they did have a, I, we don't drink alcohol or drink uh, coffee. Um, usually they just have like Martinelli's, uh, like grape juice like sparkling grape juice or something like that but they had a different drink there this time which was really good i actually enjoyed it um i mean the food was still good it was just not what i was expecting um but i would still be i was satisfied with it um the other thing is i feel that they need to add more slides at least one more uh, definitely um i mean they have the aqueduct that's great. Kids love it. Um, but I love it. Yes. <laughs> but every time waiting in line for most of the cruise, 60 minutes, I don't love it that much. I'm sorry. No. I didn't pay to go on the cruise to stand in line at like you would at Disneyland Disney or, or Disney World. World. Um, that's why you pay that little bit of premium price to have a little bit more. It's like, okay, you could do a little bit more stuff. They do have another little slide, but it's only for kids. Mm -hmm. So if they would just add in an, just at least another one, that would be great. It is some sort of water activity for like adults. I mean, the adult pool, it's nice. It's relaxing, calm. Like if you just want to chill, but I'm like, 
let's go have fun. Let's go do this yeah. stuff. And there's other parents on there or like teenagers that want to go and have some more adventures. But it's just like there's only so many people that can fit in the pool. And then you have Aqueduct because yeah. the other slide we can't go on. On the mat or on the Wonder, they just have the one slide which everyone can go on. But I think with the crowds on there, um, I felt like I only waited like 20 minutes all the time on that. And so I was fine. I was like, okay, I'll keep going on that. The Magic, they have the same slide and the Aqua Dunk. But I just, you never feel like you're waiting that long on those. Um, Characters. Oh. <laughs> Come on. My son, okay. He's not into... The water stuff. The water stuff or... Um, Pretty much that's just... He likes all the other activities. Yeah, he likes to go see all the but he characters. Doesn't, it, he doesn't feel comfortable. Our two older teenagers, they don't feel comfortable enough going to the teens club and all of that. Um, so they love to do the other activities. Um, ex, and our son especially really looks at the navigator and uh, sees you know when the characters are gonna be there. But you guys, Disney has to get it together with the characters because kids are looking forward to going and seeing Stitch. Well, they'll get in line and Stitch will be done within 15 minutes and another character. Well, yeah, so you, Stitch is from 12 to 12.15, say, okay? Yeah. We, we went and saw all the characters. We had, I probably spent, I would say probably a good 20 hours in line to get to all of these characters for him. Um, so once we got on there, we started doing the characters, researching all of them. It was like, okay, Stitch is at 12 to 12.15. I would show up at 11.55. Well, the line was already way deep and they're just like, oh, sorry, we've already cut off. This is where Goofy starts. So if you want to see Goofy, you need to wait right here. Yeah. Okay, well, Goofy's not there for another 25 minutes. They're like, yep. So... They'll let all those people go. Well, Stitch was supposed to leave at 12.15. He doesn't leave until 12.30. And then Goofy shows up. And then I have all this line. So it's just like, I've almost waited a whole hour. And I, this wasn't the character I originally was coming to see. But I'm like, oh, we need to wait in a line so we could at least see him. Because that's how it was going. So I had to start planning out my day. Okay, Captain Hook's going to be there at 11. I need to show up at 10. 10. To make sure I get in there and actually get to see him. And then it's just like, okay, after that, I got to go there. And it, they, they need to do, they were really strict. I mean, Disney, it's just like, okay, they usually seem to cater to you, but not, no. They were just like, see ya, bye. You're like, tough luck. You, sh you had the whole cruise to do all this. Well, I'm like, I waited in a lot of lines, the whole cruise, to come see all these characters. Um... So I just feel like the character lines at the park is a lot better, a lot more smooth than it was on the cruise ship. Um, but I've never had that issue with... The smaller ships. The, the smaller ships. Yeah. Um, when we went into on the Fantasy, we didn't go see very many characters that time just because... We were with friends. We were with all the friends. So I don't know if it's anything different on the Fantasy or not, but um, I, w I would like them to try to change that up a little bit would be really nice. I do recommend you guys having the navigator on your phones. Um, even with your kids, if they have phones, it's free download, but have it on there because it gives you a whole list of everything and what's happening and what foods, uh, like the menu options. Um, and it kind of gives your kids as well as us parents freedom because we, um, our kids can tell us what they're gonna do and we're like, okay, this is where they're at and how long they're gonna be there. Um, sports court, that was kind of a joke on the Disney Dream because it is teeny tiny. For on the amount of people that were wanting ship. to play. Um, there was a lot of teenagers, they all love basketball and if you wanted to play basketball, there was only yeah. one court, so it wasn't even a, a two court. And there was, I just felt like the boys that really dominated took control of the to, thing. Yeah. Um, which is fine. You yeah, know, they which were having is fine. A great time. But I felt like it just there should there should have been someone there kind of supervising that, kind of breaking it up so other people can play. Yeah. Um, so I mean that was kind of 
a thing that they could kind of work on. But you know what? Like the shows were fantastic. Yeah, we, we loved, loved all the shows. shows. Um, all of the like the musicians, the comedians, all of that the they brought on the adult entertainment. We loved it all, and my kids mm -hmm. loved it all. We enjoyed everything about it. We um, love Pirate Night. We dressed up as Pirate Night. I feel like the dream actually had more uh, photo op opportunities, like before dinners yeah, and stuff, like, especially dream. with the... Or the dream had on the other ships. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if that's something new that Disney added on, but it was nice. I mean, we always, every night before dinner, we pretty much went and got family pictures taken down there. We had great opportunities, but Pirate Night, we it really dressed it. Yeah, Pirate Night, we were it was not really over, good. It wasn't overwhelming, but... They still have not brought back the buffet. That is something super big that a lot of people look forward to. We need our turkey legs. <laughs> like, come on, I'm a foodie. And um, so, and guess what? I have never had the buffet. Never. So. She usually goes to bed. Uh, yeah, I've, anyways. But, um, so we were bummed about that. And then Another thing is they have two different show times and they are completely different. So make sure that you go to both because the first one is more char uh, character character. Yeah, the Disney involved. characters, they're traditional Disney um, characters where the later show was like uh, Jack Sparrow, more piratey. Um, and we and then thought, the fireworks. Yeah, and the fireworks. We th thought, thought both shows were the same, so we missed out on the first show. We were kind of bummed about that, but... That could have been all on our fault, too, but we're giving you guys a pointer on that. Um, anyways, let's cut this and let you know what you need to do with our 500 subscribers. Yes. So, you know my wife, she has the best time <laughs> and the best time and the best time. <laughs> so, comment below. This is how you enter, okay? You have to comment below the best time. And then go over to her Instagram page where she's going to put a 500 subscriber giveaway. Yes. And you have to comment below there. The, the best, best time. time. <laughs> you have to comment on both. If you don't comment on both, you won't be entered in. Okay? So, we are going to choose the winner July 4th. All right. Okay? That'll be great. So, you have from now until July 4th to enter in. So, again... The best time. Because we usually have the, the best, best time. time. <laughs> okay. So. To go back on to the Disney um, thing. Um, overall, we all had a wonderful time. Wonderful, wonderful time. And if we chose, we'd do it again. Um, but, but we, we do hold Disney to, to the, the highest standard out of all of the cruise lines out there. And it was kind of sad that Disney was like down there on this one. Um, one other issue we had were the drinks. The drinks are included, but half of the time we would go up over there to go get, even get water or soda. People were filling up like gallon jugs of water and then all the water was gone. So if like you went to go get syrup, like you going to go get like your vitamin water or yeah. your Coke, It'd it was gone. straight syrup. Or straight syrup, yeah. And then you'd go press the water button and there would be nothing. So I don't know what was going on with their soda machines. Um, I know you can go to like a bar or something like that and ask for water or, or a drink. And they do have other um, certain areas in the ship to fill up your water jugs that are just for straight water. Um, but for the soda stations, they need to make sure that, I mean, if you're getting a little cup, that's understandable. Yeah. Uh, but not gallons. Yeah. I, um, I don't know if like their system, like their tank could only hold so much water and yeah. then people are coming up and just draining out that and it takes it a while to rebuild up. Yes. So maybe that needs to be monitored a little bit on that. Um, but yeah, it was just a, like a bummer. It's like, ugh, I'm parked. Now I got to go back down to either my room or go over to a bar and get some water or a soda or something like that when I've already had to make my journey up to the pool deck to get the drink. Yes. Um, but I'm interested. She's going on the Disney Wish in October again. Yes, I am. Um, with Millie and her mom. 
So I'm hoping that they have the best time. We're gonna have the best time. And eventually we'll make it, I'll, I'll probably make it onto the, the Wish. But I told her, I'm like, I think I might be done with the fantasy and dream. I don't know yeah. if I have a desire to go on those two. Um, so if you guys haven't cruised with Disney before, I know that this kind of really sounded maybe negative and I'm sorry that it came off that way. It's just, we hold Disney to the really highest standard, but they were down here at this time for the price that we were paying and we only got to here. Yeah. I was kind of let down. Um, and my sister, we were texting before I got off the line. The <laughs> way to rate it out of, cause my previous two cruises were on Royal. And so she's like, well, rate the cruise um, out of 10. And I, I was talking to Lauren and I'm like, I probably only give it a seven. Yeah. And my sister's like, why really? is he only giving it a seven? <laughs> like what the heck? And then she texts me halfway through her cruise and she's like, I know why you gave it a seven. Yeah. And she even had a, like, a horrible, horrible experience. Like, obviously you had fun. They had fun and yep. everything. But theirs was a lot worse than ours. But she would also, our, even when talking with her, our most favorite cruise that we've gone on, and we love Castaway Key. We love yes. going to Castaway Key. But was going on the Wonder out of California and doing the Baja Mexican Riviera, I yeah. think it's called, cruise, where we went to uh, Cabo, Mazalan, Puerto Vallarta. Um, we loved, we've done that cruise like three or four times. We love it. Yes. And that ship, we've never had a bad experience and Disney was like way top over, notch. like top notch. And we're just like, oh, this is so worth it. Um, and we can't wait to book it again. We do have a placeholder, so... Um, we're, we, we're, we haven't closed the book on no. it. We're still going to go up. But yeah, I just told her, I'm like, we'll probably go on the Wonder or the Magic. magic. Or um, the Wish. Yeah, she says the Wish is really good. So uh, I'm hoping that she has a wonderful experience. I can't personally speak for it because I haven't been on there. Um, But if you guys have any questions for us, leave a comment below too as well. Um, We hopefully, we've hands, we didn't scare you guys away because that's yeah. not what we're wanting to do. We're just wanting to let you know like, Disney expectations are like perfect on the OG ships and according to her on the wish. Um, but when those, the fantasy and the dream are at capacity, it's not Disney standard. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if they're still blaming it on COVID, but that was three years ago. Now it's time. Okay. You can't blame it on COVID anymore. No. It's, it's well past that. It's on the company at this point or yeah. the leadership. Um, I did ask to see if our cruise was short staffed because maybe that was some of it, but it they wasn't. said no, that we're, we're no. fully staffed. It was still good. We had a wonderful time. I think my kids ended up over like 40 ice creams. I, they all ate me this time. I just, I kind of keep up with them, <laughs> but put yourself out there. Go do all of the games on the itinerary. We did the scavenger hunt. That was a blast. Um, I think we did all three mish or uh, yep, all the all, all the three, three detectives. detectives, yeah, uh, and once uh, without taking an elevator, me okay. and Corbin. Well, him and Corbin did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of stairs that day. But the uh, I did two different detective works because I did one with the kids as a family, and then we did it with my brother-in-law and sister-in-law and their kids, um, and that was fun. I really. And Disney does a great job with that um, type of entertainment. Um, it's just these little nicks and crannies that I feel that, you know, everyone pay, will, is willing to pay buku bucks for Disney. Um, so they just need to up their game. Yeah. Um, One nice thing, though, is that on Disney is because you could buy those refillable bucks. Popcorn, popcorn buckets, buckets. and then it's like a buck or buck 50 to refill mm -hmm. at, for each show or if you go to a movie yeah. at the I, we love that yeah we do um and that's a great feature that disney offers i feel like it's a good fair value um, you can't now the thing is um you can keep your buckets you used to before covid you used to be able to uh take your buckets home and then bring them back on another disney ship you no longer can. So mm -hmm. whatever bucket um, you have at home that you've bought from Disney, 
you cannot take it on. So that's another thing. But I'm fine with that. Oh yeah. It's because like, that's one less thing I, I, we don't take ours home. No. It's one less thing that you have to bring onto the cruise and then bring back, bring home. back home. I'm fine paying the money mm -hmm. and then refilling it all week long. That is a great value to me. I feel like I'm getting my money's worth on that. Yeah. And I'm very happy with that. Yeah. So we love Disney. We really do. It was just an eye opener for us with how everything went because Disney has always, like Trevor says, high top notch. Um, and we have really high expectations. And when we had gone on the fantasy and we had those situations, we were like, okay, let's go on the dream and see what's going to happen. And when it was the kind of the same thing, um, but different stuff, uh, we were like, okay. It, it's, it, this wasn't the one time. It's, it's no. the ship layout. Yeah. Now um, the wish, that's different. <laughs> and that's why I want him to go so bad because the wish, they utilize that ship. And there's different um, food options. Like they've got Mexican food, they have your barbecue and it's amazing. I, I just, oh my gosh, I'm so excited, especially to take, um, Millie on it, uh, because just to have that, um, experience with bring my kid and doing different things. So, but yeah. Anyways, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, again, subscribe, hit that subscribe button and share if you um, can because that really helps us and gets us more excited to share more things with you. So. And the link to her Instagram is in the description below. So thanks again and uh, stay tuned for more of the Roseberry Adventures. Bye.